today's video to get rid of these little rubber pads and to put the Mitsubishi Sport pedal uh, pedals on. Got the whole set and um, first thing is these actually just should come off not super easily but they do just kind of peel right off. I'm actually kind of shocked because these pedals look like they're like these rubber pads actually look like they're pretty good uh, for something with that many miles but so what I'm gonna do is actually set these down in this case it's got four screws so what I'm gonna do first is with a silver sharpie I'm gonna put a couple dots where the the holes are gonna go and um, I got a center punch and I'll use the center punch to put a little divot into the uh, pedal and then from there uh, I'll drill the holes so we'll put the plastic down here just for metal shavings and stuff but so for this pedal um, it actually mounts to a plastic uh, base so what I'm using is just like a small drill bit just to put a little pilot hole in and then it uses a self tapper uh, see one right there a little self tapper so then you just use a just a simple uh let's see if i can get it there you go simple uh, phillips bit and um this one's actually pretty simple um it just kind of mounts directly right to the pedal you don't have to remove it doesn't have like a plastic cover like the other ones did or a rubber cover so just simply Put the aim the drill right in, uh, and then it's actually going to be helpful if you push down on uh, on the pedal at the same time. So, not going to be able to do it on camera because I need two hands to do that. But for this one, it's pretty simple. All right, so this pedal is installed. Um, with that one, it's just uh, four self tappers. So you don't have a, you don't have any of the um, the nuts on the back side of it. These, however, this is actually metal. Uh, so it's like with those, uh, you drill a larger hole. The first one was a 1.5 millimeter hole for these parts here, or for that pedal there. For these two, they were saying uh, to drill a 3.5 millimeter hole. Um, so basically what you want it what you want to do is have the screw if it focuses what you want to do is have that screw be able to slide all the way through the hole so with this one again what I'm going to do is set the pedal down with a sharpie I'm going to I'm gonna draw out, like kind of color in the, the holes. And then while I have this in position, I'm also then going to take a center punch, which is down there, and punch the holes. Now what I'm doing is because I put a silver Sharpie on, when I put the center punch holes, it'll make it easier to kind of see where those holes are uh, on a silver surface uh, rather than just directly on a black surface. you can actually see those uh, center punch holes or the center part, uh, punch marks um, now with the silver background. What I'm going to do is probably drill one hole completely, uh, set the pedal in place, maybe bolt that one down, and just to verify that everything lines up because then I might have to re-punch cer certain areas, but I might just do one uh, bolt in place first just to kind of verify, pull the pedal away, drill out the next one, then, you know, put two bolts in place just to make sure that the rest uh, align until it's, uh, until all four holes are drilled. All right, now that the first one, you kind of see, now they got the first one drilled out, looks like the remaining ones are still pretty aligned, so, 
uh, drill out the other bottom one. And what I'm doing too is I have three different drill bits. So I'm starting off with the tiniest one first, then stepping up and then stepping up. That way kind of keeps the, uh, the drill bit more aligned properly into the hole. And um, trying to drill into this hardened steel with, uh, with just the large drill bit kind of doesn't seem to be as uh, easy. Four holes are drilled. So now I'm just gonna put the pedal on and then these nuts on the back um, will kind of snug everything up, hold, uh, keep the pedal from loosening up. All right, two pedals are installed. Now I'm just gonna repeat that same process for this last one. Everything's all together. Everything's all secure. And it looks really good. Overall, this is a really simple install. Um, trick is to actually find the actual kits because the kits are uh, pretty rare now. I guess they've been discontinued for a while now. Um, even comes with instructions and everything. So. Um, again, overall, it's very simple, makes a big difference in the appearance of the car too. So that's always kind of a cool transformation to see. Anyways, I'm going to clean up and I'll get a couple final pictures, but again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more, just, uh, let me know, uh, what vehicles, you know, that I have that you would want to see, uh, more videos on. And, um, if you guys have any questions or anything, just leave your questions in the comments and I'll, you know, I always try to read all the comments and try to respond. So hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching.